Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring Kid. I'm going to be doing lots of small videos um, during the Easter holidays because I have lots of free time now and this video is going to be showing you what's in my essential pencil case or pencil cases because I actually have two but I use this one more. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So. Probably most of you will know by now that in Fantastic Zoo I have a set colour palette for most of the picture and I keep the pencils that I use for that set colour palette in here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this pencil case first and also in this pencil case I keep my essential tools so I can just carry this around and it's useful for any book. Um, or specifically Fantastic Zoo. Um, this pencil case has all of my other tools in which I kind of don't use too much but I have if I need them. And just as a, uh, another uh, thing about these pencil cases, I got them on sale in Waterstones here in the UK for two fifty each. I bought them at separate times and then realised I had so many supplies that I needed two. And I'm so glad I did buy two because it's really useful. Um, and yeah, they're great. They're Joanna Bassford pencil cases. So they're, they're originally £10, I think, but you can see they've gone down. So I'm just going to show you everything one by one. The first thing I have is a swordfish sharpener, which one of my friends found for me on the floor at school. So it's really good. I've had it for almost a year now, and it's great. So this is such a good sharpener. Um, I also have a little pot that I always have on the side which has a sharpener in um, but obviously I can't travel with this so it's okay, you know it's okay and I have other sharpeners and things so you know I don't just use this one I have my Faber Castell uh, pencil sharpener which lots of you might have seen uh, and it opens up you sharpen it and then you pull these two pieces apart to be able to get the shavings out um, and it says Faber Castell on the top there um, but this is really good as well. Next I have a Faber-Castell dust free uh, rubber and it's actually really good. I like this. I think I got it in WH Smith for about 80p. It was on sale. Um, next I have my Wink of Cello which I don't actually use for Fantastic Zoo but again I have anyway. This I have a feeling is drying out. So I do need to buy myself another at some point, but I don't have any money at the moment, so I'm going to have to wait until after Easter. Um, but yeah, I do love these, and I would like another one soon. Next I have my Ink of Stella pens. And these actually have Chinese or Japanese, I don't know, um, written on them, um, because these were from Amazon UK, but, you know, I got three in a pack uh, and it was a really good deal as well so just had those um, this one is still working but kind of running out and I just have a spare anyway because it's just useful oh and these are the the broad Uniball Signo broad and these are great I love them um, I will show you the pencils but I'm not going to go into too much depth about them just because they are essentials but you know not tools so in this side pocket I have six green pencils which I use I've got three classic pencils um, 372, 371 and 370 um, and then I have a polychromous which is earth green and then two Doe and Artist pencils, which are May Green and Olive Green. I've only got a few open stock Doe and Artists. In the other side pocket, I have all of the tan colours and brown colours that I use for my houses. Um, there's quite a few here, so I will be fairly quick. Oops, I've got my cream from Polychromis with a replacement. I have my burnt ochre from Polychromis with a replacement. Um, I've got Bista from Polychromis. Uh, any more? No. Um, and then from Prisma Colour, I have Goldenrod, Beige, um, Light Umber, 
sand, oops, and that's it. I have two eco pencils, yellow ochre and sand, and these are the poly, uh, Faber Castell eco pencils, and three classics, um, 389, 383, and 387. Then coming to the middle section, I'll try and pick out all of the pencils first because then we can get onto the tools. And as you can see, I actually managed to fit quite a few pencils in here, so it's good. Okay, that's all of them. So these pencils are um, from Prismacolor. We have Deco Pink with a replacement. I've got pink and blush pink, cloud blue and sky blue light and cream and deco peach from Prismacolor and this is a Gong Hoi Hero Pencil or 125 which is kind of the equivalent to deco peach because I don't have a replacement for it so I'm using that one instead. And then I've got Lilac from the Eco and um, Ivory from the Polychromus. And I also have another Ivory here, oops, which is running out, which is why I've got the replacement. Okay, on to the other tools in my uh, pencil case. I have a buff titanium luminance, which I class as a tool just because it's for blending and things like that. It's the only luminance I have. I don't think I'll be getting any more. It depends. I don't know. I do like some of the colours, so we will see. Um, so yeah, this is buff titanium 801. Um, we have my Jelly Roll Clear Glitter Stardust Pen. This is great. I have three of them. And in case you're wondering... I have all of my replacements for things in this pencil case, which I will quickly show you at the end. It's got my name on it, and I love it. Uh, we have my Derwent Blender with a replacement. We have a black gel pen to write things down. I have my Faber-Castell Perfection rubber pencils. These are great, and I've got a replacement for that as well. It's just handy to have. Uh, I have my Prismacolor Colourless Blender um, with a replacement. This is PC1077 and I would really recommend those, they're so good. Um, and then I have my Caran d'Ache Full Stick Blenders, which are broken. And, oops, sorry for the camera mover. And then I've got my uh, Derwent Pencil Extenders, sorry. So that's that pencil case. Moving on to my not-so-essential pencil case, but things that I still use. Um, I've got this push uh, rubber that I got when I went to Spain. Um, and this is a very thick, thick stumped one. So it's nothing like the um, the really, really thin ones, you know, kind of the Dermot Batchy eraser or anything like that. Speaking of that, I've got one right here which I do use, but it won't fit in my other pencil case at the moment, so just got that there. I've got my Uniball Signo Glitter Silver gel pens, which I did use before, but now I use my Stardust, so I've got these if I need them. I've got my Faber-Castell Putty Eraser, which is really good, but I've used it so much it's not really a rubber anymore, but it still does work. And then I've got this really bad one, which was just kind of an art basic one from Hobbycraft. It's really, really hard. It does the job, but it's just very, very tough. I've got another wink of cellar. This is my old one, and I actually refilled it with metallic glitter paint. I um, watered it down. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so it doesn't really work, but I use it for other things. Uh, when we went to Prague, uh, I saw... I saw these and then I got them in my stocking. So I've got, there was so many Koinor stores in Prague. There were about three or four. Um, and this one says, pencils since 1790, Koinor Hartmouth. And this is a really nice kind of hard rubber. 
and this one is a much softer one it's very crumbly and it's got an, an odd texture which is actually really good for um, pencils and they are proper they you know were branded as um, pencil color pencil erasers and they're great I've got my Derwent Burnisher, which I have to say I don't use much. They're not my favourites. I have a pencil. Um, I've got my two pens that I got in my stocking a couple of years ago. I absolutely love these. They're so good. And I think the black still works. I've, I've used the black more. Sorry if you can hear um, the noise. I have a pencil from the National Portrait Gallery, which has got loads of different paints on. So cool. Um, I got that when I went there. I've got a Uni Posca white pen, which is 0.7mm. And I don't use this too much. I love my Uni Ball Signo a lot more. Um, I have a grey... Stadler tri tri Triplus Fine Liner, sorry, um, which I use for writing down. This is the rubber that my mum used. Um, so this is kind of 30 years old. It's amazing. So I don't know which brand it is, but it's really good. I have, I can't even read this, um, a Hybrid Gel Grip DX white gel pen. And I do use this a lot, but I just keep it in here so that I've got one you know for something else and then one in my essentials case i don't actually know how thick this is this is one so maybe i should be keeping this in my essentials because this is thicker i'm just going to give it a quick test on here this also runs really easily um, and sometimes i have issues with the uniball signo See, I can't really tell a difference, but maybe there is. That does run really well, though. There aren't any gaps in that, whereas there can be in the Signo sometimes. I'm going to move that to my essentials. That's good. Um, what else? We have my Jelly Roll white gel pen, which I don't use much. It's not my favourite. Um, oh, that shouldn't be that. And then I've got more of my stick blenders that have broken. My hand off ones. In this side pocket, we have um, an almost untouched Derwent rubber, which I got with my blenders and burnishes. I've got this... Um, oh, sharpener, sorry. Uh, and the idea is that you would keep it on a pencil and then just sharpen it when you would need to. Fairly good. This is a rubbish Derwent sharpener, plastic one. I've kept it in here anyway, but yeah, it's not, not great. And then another sharp, a single hole sharpener, which I think works, but not too sure. Another full stick blender. Um, and then I have my refills of my Derwent battery eraser. And in this pocket here I have rubber bands if I need to um, you know put certain pencils together for a project um, I have oh my gosh sorry um, I have some cotton buds and all of these here most of them anyway um, are all of my baby pencils and I keep them. I I am proud. I have to say. I know that's kind of funny, but I'm quite proud of these. Some of these are random rubbers that I, uh, refills for the arrays for the you know Derwent battery arrays that I haven't used yet. Um, a couple of them are for a Derwent uh, pen, uh, pencil even Meca uh, mechanical pencil. Um, but I'll just move these out of the way. Uh, having said that though, most of these are pencils. I've got quite a few blenders. Um, as you can see, blenders and burnishers. So I've got a Derwent burnisher, Derwent blender, three Prismacolor blenders and a Caran d'Ache one. And then you can see that, you know, I do use a lot of certain pencils so I have 
cream from Prismacolor, obviously, love that one. I have two cloud blues from Prismacolor, I love that. Um, I've got blush pink and pink from Prismacolor. I've got the pale sage. I have ivory. I've got light ultramarine and light magenta from Polychromis. Light umber from Prismacolor. Black from Prismacolor. My tiny, tiny light peach. And my tiny, tiny white. And that was before I realised that you could get replacements. So I was literally using them down to the core. Um, then in my refills case, I'm not going to go into too much depth about um, this because it's all the same stuff. But I will show you everything. So I'm just going to move these out of the way so that I don't get these confused. So I have a new Derwent uh, rubber. I've got a classic 347 blue because I know that my other one's going to run out soon. And that's the same for my cool grey and grey green light from Prismacolor. I have a spare perfection pencil. I've got Uniball Signos in here. One of them's run out, one of them's brand new, and one of them I think is almost run out. But I just keep them there anyway. I've got a Uniball Signo silver gel pen. Two burnishes, which is quite unfortunate. I wish they were blenders, but hey ho. Um, and I've got one blender here. Um, one brand new full stick blender that has not been broken, although they always end up breaking anyway, so that's great. And then um, two of my Stardust clear glitter gel pens. So that's everything. Um, I'm just going to bring my camera up so you can survey all of the uh, essential tools that I have. It's quite a few. Um, and I love the tools just as much as the pencils, to be honest. I do enjoy using them and you know they help create a picture there is there are hardly any pictures where I don't use a white gel pen or I don't use glitter or you know anything like that I usually always use blenders or some form of pencil to blend everything um, yeah I just really enjoy really enjoy using um, using these and you might have seen it and you might have not but in my swatch book in case you guys actually wanted all the colours for Fantastic Zoo that I use. I know I showed them all to you, but they are here. So I will just leave this here for a minute if you want to take a screenshot, if not that's totally fine. You might not have all of the pencils. So that's for Fantastic Zoo, all of those colours I mentioned. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, I really enjoyed making it, I love little videos like this where you kind of show stuff. I'm hoping to do a colouring supplies collection soon. Um, not sure when I'll get round to it, but it should be fairly soon. And yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, I just love kind of these showy videos where you know you don't do any colouring, but you show kind of what you use whilst you're colouring. So uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.